auto scaling is a process where an additional virtual machine starts automatically when a CPU load on an existing virtual machine hits a configurable threshold. In Azure, this concept is called as virtual machine scale set. What is difference between vertical or horizontal scaling? What are the scaling options in a scale set in Azure? Or step-by-step -step procedure to configure virtual machine scale sets in Azure? I'm going to cover all this in this episode in two parts. Welcome to another episode of weekly video series with me Atul Kumar from team k Academy where we help you in your journey to cloud from complete beginner that stage one as your fundamentals to stage two as your administration and then stage three and four expert level that's as your DevOps engineer or as your solution architect. So this skill set is a topic in Azure administration certification AZ 104 under a module called Deploy and Manage Azure Compute Resources. So in our training program, we cover this virtual machine scale set in detail. So I've picked up two lessons from our training that are related to the virtual machine scale set. So in this first episode, our Microsoft certified trainer Eva talks about the virtual machine scale set covering difference between the vertical and horizontal scaling. She also talks about difference between scalability and elasticity. Then she talks about the scale set properties covering manual versus custom scaling policy, also including properties like minimum or maximum virtual machine instances you can spin off or the metrics that's CPU utilization threshold on which you can scale up these virtual machines. Then in part two of this video series that's coming next week, we'll look at step-by-step -step hands on lab creating a virtual machine scale set on Azure portal. So let's see what Eva has to say. The services that we have seen so far can give us maximum availability designed for that particular service. But how about scalability? My business needs five servers during normal days, but during Christmas sale or Black Friday sale or any festive sale, I need 50 servers. Can my existing products or my on-premise environment can scale up to 50 from 5? The answer is no. Hence, we need a new product in cloud, which is virtual machine scale set. And that is what we are going to learn in this particular module. But before understanding more about virtual machine scale set as a product, we will go to whiteboard and try to understand more about scalability and what are all the different types of scaling which is available. So what is scalability and how is it different from elasticity? Scalability is the ability to move from 1 to 100 and the reverse procedure is your elasticity. Scalability is possible even in your on-premise environment. The only thing is you need to wait for a few months to get all these servers and few more months to deploy some people and few more months to keep all these servers up and running. But how about elasticity? Once my business is over, can I bring it back to one? It's impossible in my on-premise environment. Hence, scalability and elasticity is possible only with cloud and not with your on-premise environment. And we have two types of scaling. The first one is vertical scaling. And the second one is horizontal scaling. Vertical scaling is if I have one core CPU and four GB memory machine, this is a particular VM. Can I upgrade this configuration to the next level? Yes, that is called vertical scaling. Here I'm going for two core machine and 16 GB memory. This movement is your vertical scaling and this is also called scale up and scale down. The exact opposite is horizontal scaling, which is very important to understand virtual machine scale set concept. Horizontal scaling is I'm starting with one virtual machine. When there is a need, I'm going for another virtual machine and then another and then another. So uh, with identical configuration. 
I'm not touching my first machine and upgrading it to the next level, which is scale up. Rather, I'm scaling out. This procedure is called scale out. Here, we call it as scale out and scale in. Once my business is over, my fourth server gets deleted, third server gets deleted, second server gets deleted, and finally, I get my one server where exactly I have started from. This procedure is called scale out and scale in. Here, I have only one machine and I'm upgrading that one machine. At the end, I have still one machine but with a different configuration. Here, I'm starting with one machine and I'm moving towards four machines and once my job is done, I'm coming back to one machine. This type of scaling is called horizontal scaling. So, if you're not really very happy about your existing configuration in your organization, be it cloud or be it on-premise, you need to understand which scalability is suitable for you, either vertical or horizontal. With this understanding, we will try to understand how virtual machine scale set works. For this, there are certain parameters which are important. The first one is minimum instance. And the second one is maximum instance. The third one is metrics and the fourth one is time. What are all these? We will see one by one. The first one is minimum instance. How many virtual machine do I need to start with? I'm going to start with only one virtual machine and we will also do the same thing in lab. Whatever I'm explaining here in this page, we will do it in lab and then you will understand it better. I'm starting with minimum instance, which is one. So I'm going to write it in a different color, which is one. In Azure, the virtual machine scale set can scale up to 1000 VMs. In one virtual machine scale set, if I start with the base virtual machine of one image, it can go up to 1000 virtual machines as a part of horizontal scaling. But is it really my budget? Can I control? Yes, here my budget is going to be only four. So it can scale up to four machines and this is my fourth machine and I'm going to stop until four. So my maximum instance is going to be four. But what if the load is beyond fourth machine? If all of my four machines get overloaded, my application and my machines crash. Here, in this particular situation, I'm fine with that. But at any given point of time, I'm not ready to pay for fifth virtual machine. This is my customer's requirement or this is my requirement. So here we have filled the minimum instance and maximum instance. Meanwhile, I have seen some of the environment wherein they have started with 100 instance and maximum is 1000 in instance. It's purely up to your customer's requirement, business as well as the budget. The third one is metrics. How am I going to calculate the scalability? So here I have two different broad categories. One is manual. Another one is custom. What is manual? I know the next Saturday is going to be a big day for me. So only on that day, uh, on Saturday at 12 a.m., I'm going to make it from 1 to 4. That is manual, wherein I have 100% control. But in custom, I have again two categories, time bound and metrics related. Time bound, every Saturday, I have very good business and only on Saturdays I want my one virtual machine to scale up to four virtual machines. You can make it as a custom so that you don't have to log into your machine every Friday night and change. On the other hand, I don't have that type of requirement at all. I don't know when am I going to get maximum business. It may be today or it may be suddenly the next week or continuously for five days, I may not get business. In that case, the wise idea is to go for metrics related. You have many, many metrics that you can choose. Here, I'm going to pick up CPU utilization. That's a wise way to calculate the utilization of all these four servers or any number of servers that you are going to choose. 
And if I choose CPU utilization, how will my virtual machine scale set function? Meanwhile, I'm going to write the CPU utilization here, which is my third point related to metrics. What exactly happens here when I choose CPU utilization? I need to define my scalability option here. If the CPU utilization is greater than 75 percentage plus one machine, if it is less than 25 percentage minus one machine. If I give this particular metric to my first virtual machine, wherein maximum of 75 and minimum of 25, if it is 75 plus 1, if it is 25 minus 1, I'm going to start with one virtual machine. By default, even if you start with one virtual machine, it comes with an inbuilt load balancer, which is nothing but your public load balancer. One end of the public load balancer is internet facing and the other end which is the back end pool is internal facing. So internet facing and internal facing. This is your public load balancer. By default, the load balancer starts to watch the CPU utilization of the first virtual machine. When the CPU goes beyond 75 percentage, it monitors for few minutes, which can be controlled and it creates the second virtual machine automatically without any manual intervention. Again, as an administrator, if you would like to know this, you can actually enable mobile notification or email notification. Now, Load Balancer has two machines and load balancer equally distributes the load to the processors. It's not like 50 percentage here and 25 percentage here. It's distributed equally. And once both the machine hits 75 percentage, the third machine comes up. And now the load balancer has three machines to watch out. Once all these machines together get 75 percentage, which is 75, 75 and 75, the fourth machine gets created. And this is how exactly the virtual machine scale set works. Now here you may have few questions. Can I control the time? When there is a 75 percentage of hit in the CPU utilization, load balancer usually watches it for minimum of five minutes. You can control it. Here I have picked it up as five minutes. You can choose up to one hour, which is 60 minutes also, which we will see in the examination lab. But keep it as low as possible, which is five minutes, because in order to create a second virtual machine, it takes another five minutes. So you guessed it right. That is the actual drawback of virtual machine scale set. So five minutes of monitoring of CPU utilization and five minutes to create the second virtual machine. 10 minutes of latency. Latency is the only problem in virtual machine scale set. How can I bridge it? Are virtual machines the right set of products for me? If you want to bridge this gap and make it zero, you need to go for Azure Kubernetes service or you even have Azure service fabric. You have web apps, you have mobile apps, you have batch. There are many other compute products within Azure. What we are learning in this module as per 104 certification is different variants of virtual machine. Now with this understanding, we will look into the slides and we will move on to the lab. This is the base machine for the customer. The customer is starting with a set of three machines here. And then as and when the demand increases, it goes up, which is my scale out. And when the demanding decreases, it scales in. Here, we are not getting a new SKU of virtual machine. If I'm starting with the DS1 V2 series of virtual machine, the second machine I get is the identical VM. It is not going to be an H series or L series. It is the same machines with same configuration. As a customer, you are responsible for horizontal scaling of your application. This is an IaaS product. So Microsoft gives you only the hardware infrastructure. And regarding your scalability of your code, scalability of your application, scalability of your security, as a customer, you need to take care of it. 
again here is where i'm going to ask the same question repeatedly do you really need virtual machine scale sets or are you happy with kubernetes there is also one more concept we need to understand which is called over provisioning as per this example here is the base machine which is two the customer is starting from two machines and maximum is five because that is the maximum limitation from the customer side either may be based on business or may be based on the budget when both my virtual machine is overloaded azure creates my third virtual machine well this is my third virtual machine in order to give me the third virtual machine microsoft creates two more machines overall in order to create one machine microsoft is creating three machines it's called over provisioning whichever machine comes up first will be given to me that is my third machine so this concept is called over provisioning during the lab you will see the same thing wherein we will start with one virtual machine in order to get my second virtual machine microsoft creates three different images let's assume that the third image is coming up first immediately microsoft decommission these two machine and the third machine will be sorry the third image will be given as a second machine for me that's a very good initiative by microsoft and this is the page wherein we will implement auto scaling instead of looking at the screenshot let's do one thing why not doing the same thing as a lab so join me in this lab well that was eva talking about virtual machine scale set covering things like difference between scalability and elasticity also vertical scaling versus horizontal scaling or scale set properties like min and maximum virtual machine instances to spin off as based on the policy or manual versus automatic scaling or scaling based on the metrics that cpu utilization so this was one of the lessons from our azure administration certification az 104 so if you are not yet azure certified and would like to see what to expect in the exam or how to prepare for this exam i would like to invite you for a free 90 minute session with microsoft certified trainer eva and myself where we talk everything about this as your administration and five topics that you must learn we'll also talk about the exam basics and difference between the previous version az 103 and 104 also the hands-on lab you must perform in order to clear this certification so you can register free by going to this url k20academy.com forward slash az 10402 remember i always get excellent feedbacks on your sessions now, next week, in the part two of this video series, we'll look at step-by-step -step hands on lab while creating a virtual machine scale set on Azure portal. So I'll see you next week with a step-by-step -step hands on lab by showing how to create a virtual machine scale set, then load the server with a lot of stress, so CPU increases, then another virtual machine spinning off from the scale set. Trust me, it will be very interesting and the episode that you don't want to miss. So I'll see you next week.